I'm looking for a game to play on Halloween because I suck at everything else. Is there a game you can recommend for my skill level? Alright everyone, calm down. I'm gonna say it. This game isn't even that hard. Shut your bitch ass, I'm gonna come in and shoot your- But if you don't believe me, then stick around to see how easy this game actually is. Got him. Personally, if it was me... Like in many other games, level 1 is easy as fuck in this game, so it's the perfect time to explain the strategy. Now, the rest of the plan is simple. <laughs> A bunch of zombies will spawn here. One will drop the knife. I grab the knife. I'm still gonna die because I suck. With what? Yes, this will be your best friend throughout the whole game. If you can't get it to spawn, the default weapon is a good option, but I'll explain later why you don't want to hold on to it. How nice. Just make your way through here killing all the enemies, stick to the bottom path, and then, here's the hardest enemy in the game. That's fucking horseshit! You wanna see me do it again? I give up. Again? Yeah, basically you can hit him twice before he even moves. Just as he's diving, jump backwards and throw your weapon. Never jump forward into him and do not stand still. Always be jumping and moving back. Sans Undertale! Should've just known that was there. Avoid these guys. And then once you make your way past all these ghosts, we're at the level 1 boss. A unicorn! We do have his description. Can we take that? Let's take his description. Keep inching your way forward while spamming the knife, and then duck, just keep hitting him. It's not much to say, it's just that easy. Now level 2 is probably where most people rage quit in this game, but... I just have one question for you. What is it, Ted? Why? It's easy! The first half of this level is really just jumping up here a bunch of times. You jump, and then as soon as you land here, immediately jump because that's gonna fall. You done? As soon as you pass that window, these guys start spawning, you just turn, jump, and shoot them. Here's the annoying part of this level. See that bird right there? That fucker spawns every 5 seconds. If you have a feeling he's about to spawn, you can turn around and spam shoot. Now unfortunately, as you climb up, you're gonna have to take out the goblins through the wall with your weapon here. It'll help later on. Basically this entire part is just climbing your way up while killing all these enemies and avoiding the bird. There's a hidden armor here if you need it. And then from this ladder, you should climb down, and then... It seems to me that we have three options here, and none of which are ideal. One... Start the game over like the loser you are. Two... If you turn and jump as the bird spawns, it'll be on the correct altitude and you can clip over onto the wall and skip that, but unfortunately you only have one hit left. This is fine. Which leaves us option three. But yeah, to avoid that altogether, just don't climb down these two ladders. If you killed the goblins through the wall earlier, this part will be a cinch. Alright, so kill the red bird here. These platforms are kind of jank, but you can just get to the edge of each platform and jump and make it. I've come for your Grab this here as it'll give you more time. Two more jumps to do. And then after all that, guess who's the boss? Oh. Two unicorns. You already know how to kill them. Avoid fighting both of them at the same time, so stick to the left here while killing the first unicorn. Kill the second one, not that hard. Now the first half of level 3 is very easy. Just make sure in the beginning you duck and kill everything, and then it's literally just holding right and killing shit in front of you. Third level, lots of luck. Now the second half of this level, if you don't know how to kill these guys, you you're gonna have to be able to kill four of these guys in a row. So same strategy, hit this guy twice. When he dives, jump backwards, hit him two more times. How do you do that? Make sure you pass that ladder and go to this one. You should totally turn left here. Have fun. And then near this money bag these guys will spawn, make sure you jump and kill them. Once again, you should have known there's a hidden armor there. Jump from here and hold right, and then when you get down here, this is the last red devil you have to fight. What the hell? Now here, this dragon's a complete asshole. 
So if you came here without switching from the starting weapon, the dragon's immune to the javelin. So this fireball spawns, you have to use that against him and... That's no good! Make sure you always jump around this area because he throws an invisible fireball. And lastly, he has two movement patterns. He will throw the fireball and be moving already, or just sitting still. Otherwise what just happened earlier can happen. Sand. But just hang in the middle, always be jumping backwards and shooting him, and he goes down like cake. Easy. Now level 4 is definitely easier than the last level, but there's no hidden armor on this level. It's not a big deal because this level is incredibly short, and the checkpoint's nice. Anyway, begin this level by making your way onto these clouds. Get off of my cloud. Then once you reach here, when that pole drops 2 seconds after, you can jump so that cloud on the right takes you. Get off of my cloud. Don't get alarmed, but I think I might be Jesus. And then jump over here and you're gonna have to fight this red devil. Even if you die to him, this is a checkpoint, so not the end of the world, and you don't have to fight him. Basically, the rest of this level is just killing these blue little guys and jumping over the fire pillars. Capcom putting all these red devils in the game, and it's still not stopping me. And then the dragon's back once again. You can actually score a couple hits on him and he won't charge into you, and it's the same thing. Just jump backwards while shooting him, and he'll go down pretty quick. <laughs> Oh boy, the RNG in these last two levels is gonna make you wanna... <laughs> to start off, anytime you see a skull head, duck and kill it, otherwise it'll turn into an enemy. There's not much to say here as you're literally making your way up, just killing everything that you see. I would totally grab that. Yeah, this part can suck because... Complete RNG, so you better hope they move out of the way. And then when you make it past this guy, as you ride across, there will actually be a hidden armor for you. I'm not sure if that normally happens. And then kill this last enemy, and after more climbing, you'll reach the Satan boss. Just keep your distance from his projectiles, crouch under him as he swoops, and remember to always be shooting backwards and jumping. Guy goes down pretty easy. Oh yeah, here's what happens if you're smart enough to bring the axe all the way up here. Did I mention there's no checkpoint? <laughs> I don't want to die! <laughs> no! Level 6 is gonna make you hate yourself, and there's no checkpoint. <laughs> Doesn't matter, I'm gonna show you how to beat this in like a minute. You just duck and kill the skeletons, climb up, kill the unicorn, and then same strategy with the dragon. Grab the shield weapon, and then uh, I'll let you watch the rest. What's just happened there? Look how easy that was. You've got no excuse. Alright, alright, I'll guide you buffoons through it. I would also advise not to grab any weapons on this level. Probably the worst part about this level is the... Goblins. Ideally, you want him to be on the left, but if he's on the right and there's enough space, kill the skeleton and let him come towards you because the shield actually blocks his projectile. And you can kill him over here without having to piss off the devil over there. This is the last required red devil in the game, so climb about here, then climb down, and then at this point you should know how to kill them. If you do get hit, there's a hidden armor over here. What the hell are you talking about? And then same thing for this enemy. Once you're past him, you're basically home free, and now we're gonna fight two Satans. Liam and me, we're gonna fuck you up. I don't think so. Yeah, once again, don't fight both of them at the same time. The shield actually blocks the projectiles, so jump, block the projectiles. Always jump and shoot backwards. So finish him off. You could also do this if you want. Now let's say you accidentally grab the fireball. This is what happens. Huh? Oh my god! Final boss, and he's the hardest in the game. So I'd recommend just shooting him backwards like the normal- What? This room is an illusion and is a trap de devise it by Satan? Go ahead dauntlessly. Make rapid progress. You have to beat the game twice in a row. That's just great because this time I'm twice as fucking pissed off. Constantly whining. Wah, wah. Shut the fuck up.
Smooching time! Ah! Being the wise and courageous knight that you are, that you, you feel strong and welling? That's it for Ghosts and Goblins. Is this really considered to be the hardest NES game? Because you're all stupid. But join me next time as I feel like covering another classic Vania. Which one? You're gonna have to wait to find out. Oh, come on! Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. First, you gotta do the truffle shuffle. Come on! Do it! Come on! Do it! Uh, uh, <laughs>